I'm gonna bring a little blue um, to this section right here. So this is just a Prussian blue. This is a Mungio stick. And again, just working on these values back here. I just wanna bring a little bit more dark in here. Try to spread that dark around. This is that cocoa brown color. And a little bit of green. Trying to fade that color out, trying to spread it out. <clears throat> Darker here at the base. Um, like minor adjustments, you know, every time I add a little dark, it's a kind of a, just kind of fine tuning that value of that color, just the overall darkness of it. Up here, just keep spreading out that color.
And you can use this cocoa brown color to kind of lighten up where I need to be lighter. And then the blue where I need to be darker. some gray back. Should be lighter. I'm going to start changing the values here a little bit. Just can look at my reference picture where I see a little bit lighter. I'm going to go a little lighter. I'm just going to make a loose mark of that. And we can always just blend it in. like a medium gray. And uh, here, um, this is where the second waterfall is going to be. I keep moving it down because I keep looking at my reference and go, no, I need to go a little bit more. I need to go a little more. So you're going to see me readjust this until I figure out the right spot for it. It's kind of doing something like that. And uh, it's getting a lot of light, so you're going to see a lot of light <clears throat> right here. light down through it.
using my finger and kind of dragging that. Kind of pull it down. Okay, so there's the beginning of the highlighted part of the waterfall. I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to change um, this a little bit, but this is the warmth. So we're having the sun that comes up here and it's coming down and it hits that and it shines it up. So that's that part right there. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm going to take a light gray. This is a Mundio stick. And it's a light gray, it does have some blue in it. And we're gonna start this part of the waterfall, the upper part, right up here. I just wanna use a cooler color because this should be a warm and this is gonna be a cooler. I'm gonna see how this looks. I believe this is a Moon Geo light gray. And uh, I'm just trying to follow the reference picture here. So it kind of goes like that. As we get down here, it starts to spread out. And it's real misty and kind of spreads out down in here. Kind of comes down. To take an edge of this stump and just kind of soft blend that in. Just kind of a delicate, light smearing of the color. Okay, because I need it to sit back. So we'll start working on this part of the waterfall. And I think I'm going to bring a, um, a cooler color, so I'm going to add some more of this, but then I'm also going to bring in this type of lavender ultramarine type blue and see what that looks like. piece broke off. Let's make sure I don't step on it. Done that and just spread color all over my floor and it's difficult to clean up so See how you slowly just start to build that up. And you just keep adding a little bit more color to it and a little bit more marks. And A little bit more 
pressure, try to get some more color off the stick. Kind of a more of a, this is a Neo Pastel lavender, so it's laying a little bit more thick, but I need this to be a cooler version than this. So I'm gonna go with this. I need to go darker, I think right in here. I'm gonna bring a little bit more blue. Kind of adjust some of these uh, background dark values. vertically down um, on this because the water is going down so my strokes everything is going to be going vertical here just because that's the way the water flows I want my strokes to match what the water is doing darkness a little and take a look at it from a good six feet away and it starts to come together slowly on my bridge and keep re-establishing where that bridge is going to be somewhere right there right now but I know somewhere there that's where it's gonna be
All right, let's move on to a different part. So I like where this is going, but if I work one area too much, I tend to screw it up. So I'm gonna move around. And so I will start on a different part. Just gonna reestablish this light part of the waterfall. Kind of getting that, trying to get that texture of the way the water falls, you know, it kind of breaks as it's falling. So that's what I'm trying to mimic there. And drag it down with my fingers. All right, let's work on the edge here. I'm gonna bring some green. And there's a couple different greens I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with this is the crepe paws. And um, we have this one, I think this is a I believe this is a neo pastel. Could be wrong there, but it feels like a neo pastel. And um, some different greens. So I'm going to try a variation of some different greens here. You can see what they look like. You know, I've got some darker greens. It kind of got a middle green value, and then kind of a green that's that's kind of faded out a little bit. There's just a bit, of, just a bit more gray. Um, this is a good shadow green, I find. And we're just going to play around with these and figure out how this will work to try to bring some foliage to the cliffside because there's a lot of plants and things growing on the side of this cliff here. So I'm just going to bring a little green and just see how that looks. I'm going to start with this middle, middle green here and then I'm also going to use a shadow green. I call it a shadow green because I tend to use it in shadow type areas. There's a lot of different plants and I don't want to have to um, define each individual plant. So I'm going to treat this whole area with the same kind of stick here. And then where I see dark, darker, I'm going to take a blue and add some dark. So I see some dark right about here. So let's bring this area right here a little darker. This area here is darker. It goes all the way down. And there's some dark spots up in there. I'm just using this Prussian blue for the darks at the moment. We can even go darker than that. But uh, I feel safe using this, so we'll keep going. especially in here. Mix that up.
you can see once the darks start going and things start to really kind of pop out, you know. And so really the first, really the whole painting is just adjusting these values. It's just adjusting the dark values and, um, you know, readjusting and readjusting and then adding color and adding light and then readjusting those darks. It, it's just a constant play of darks and values and things that I'm just kind of moving through. really smearing that green. Remember, not worried about details, just overall strength of color and, you know, the darks is what, is what I'm getting after here. And I can still feel the grit, the grittiness of the, the sandpaper, the ground, the pastel ground. I can still feel that here. Even though I've added several layers so far, I can still feel that. So we're doing good. I haven't had to use any kind of workable fixative to get more coverage. So that's one of the benefits about using a sanded type surface is that you can get a lot of layers. You can put down a lot of color into it and just keep going and keep going. And a little bit uh, more, more blue right in here, just a little darker. I want that contrast to come out a little bit more. really darker down in this section. So I'm gonna probably go darker down in here and I might add that now just to see what that looks like. Just to see, add another dark value there and kind of really set this up here a little bit more. So let me finish this out and then we'll, we'll go a little darker here. So I'm gonna clean my hands. I just use these um, 
wipes for that are really good for that. Takes oil pastel right off. And you can reuse them too. So they can last. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. I'm gonna grab a dark. And I got this area. This is a Sun Sennelier and it's the number is 007. And it's just a dark transparent blue, but on top of all of this, it's gonna make everything much darker. And I'll show you right here. So right here, I need to have it darker. So I'm just gonna kind of rub that in. The way the cliff go, it kind of tucks underneath. And so this part here where it meets this pool of water is just a bit darker. just not seeing a lot of light also. And this is a Snellier, so it's really soft, really easy to just spread this over. And um, just adds another layer of dark here and it'll help adjust all these other values. Gonna spread this out in a minute but you see I'm just kind of rubbing it in certain places it's kind of random but I'm just looking at my picture and I'm finding those those very dark areas and that's what I'm going over and so where I see that I just said okay dark there dark there a little dark up here there's a little spot up there. there's definitely around the base here there's definitely a lot darker so that's where most of it's going to be and just kind of work that in okay we have this pool of water that we're going to put in. It'll eventually show up, but right now, just worry about those darks. So it's very random. It looks just very random, but I'm just I'm just trying to be real quick about it over here. Actually, down here, it's a little bit dark. So 007 Sennelier is a nice, good, dark blue. If you relate it by itself on paper, it's kind of transparent. Um, but on top of the Mungio, you know, on top of these two, so this on top of a mixture of these two gets you a nice dark spot. All right, and we can kind of just spread that with our thumb. And if I need to, I can use a stump to kind of use to get more of a detailed mixture in there but otherwise i can just go with my thumb and just kind of spread that loosely and then use the stump if i need to be a little bit more careful on that spread okay you can see where that blue went how much darker I can get an area there, so.
really dark down in here, so. Kind of just use my thumb and really kind of spreading that out, kind of fading it back into it. See how I'm just kind of fading that into it. Don't worry, we'll come back over this waterfall again, but you see I'm just kind of fading that dark down into it. Kind of bleeding those uh, edges to into, into each other. doing this I'm actually just mixing the color back and forth and then I blend it down kind of mix it blend it down I mix it in there a little bit blend it down so when I'm doing this that's what I'm doing I'm kind of going against the grain to mix all these colors with each other all right spreading it around back over at the stump and kind of do more of a vertical pull. Okay. You can see different ways, but you can see I don't want any hard edges. Everything's kind of blended in with each other. Right now it's just about getting those darks juicy. All right, so well, let's take a look there. See how that looks, I'm just spreading that out. Clean my hands, I'm gonna take a little break. I'll be back.